welcome back. We got more Queen. Yeah. It's been a little while since we've done some Queen. It has. But we're trying to get a mix of artists. There's so many artists and groups out there that we haven't checked yeah, out. Yeah, so much talent in the world. It's crazy. Yeah, we're trying to keep some diversity on the channel. So, um, you know, that said, we have really enjoyed our Queen journey thus far, and that's why we wanted to come back to them, right? Yes. And we did the full Live Aid one. Yeah, that was really cool. That's our most popular video on the channel. <laughs> yeah, that was a really cool experience, though, to see just the energy, how they flow from, like, one song into the other, the crowd, and I really enjoyed that. Yeah, and, uh, they, you know, one of the greatest performances of all time, for sure. Yeah, Frederick, F Frederick, Frederick, Freddie Mercury. Frederick is, Mercury. <laughs> yeah, he's insane, like, just so, like, a ball of energy. He is. He's awesome. He's a great performer. Yes. And not to be overlooked, though, is the rest of the, the group, yes. right? Obviously, they've done a tremendous job as a whole, you know, the compositions that they provide between yeah. the piano work, the guitar work, you know, even the bass and drums is obviously awesome too, right? The whole package they've got with Queen and, and they know, you know, that their strength though, I think is Freddie, right? Yeah. He's the, the lead performer. And when we watch things like Live Aid, he, you know, they allow him to go out there and do his thing in the right way. And, and he captures the audience every single yeah. time. That's something I was thinking about the other day is that in a lot of these groups that we've been doing, right? It's like, I feel like the lead vocalist or like the lead I guess the yeah, lead vocalist, lead performer, always gets the most attention, I feel like, in groups because mm -hmm. they're the front, center, the face of the yeah. band, right? But there's so much talent kind of in the background that kind yeah. of gets overlooked, so. That's very true, and so that's why we made sure to give some credit yes. to the rest of the group yes. here. And anyways, we've got Alive at Wembley Stadium, 1986, Love of My Life. Um, this was a recommendation that you guys said we should check out. Um, so we've done the Live Aid one, but we wanted to do a different performance, and uh, we've got a better feel for the catalog of Queen than we started. So um, maybe we'll recognize this one, but I don't think we've heard it before. Yeah, I don't think so either. So we get to expand that catalog a little yeah. bit more right now. But before we do, we got a quick pop quiz for you. And the question is, in what year was Queen inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? If you're a big Queen fan, you should know this. Hit those comments and tell us right now. If you don't know, it's okay. Don't worry. We're going to give you the answer at the end of the video. Sam will give you that answer. So I will. So you better stick around. Stick around and find out. But let's find out about Love of My Life by Queen. This is the point where the guitarist gets to speak now and again. <laughs> and today I don't have very much to say except thank you very much for coming and uh, making this the hottest ticket this country's ever seen. You're great. We love you. That's so funny because we were just saying, <laughs> you know, it's always Freddie up front and then yeah. we start with, I think that's Brian May that's starting there. Yeah. <laughs> stand as per usual. Love of my life, don't leave me. You've stolen my love, you're not deserving. Love of my life, can't you see? Bring it back, bring it back. Don't take it away. Be 
crazy how the audience is just like so engaged i was watching when they showed the audience and he was kind of conducting them i was watching one of the guy's faces and he was just like so passionate and into it yeah and you know even seeing freddie coordinate his performance the way he's doing the song with them Mm -hmm. it's like he's just out there having the time of his life like we've said many times just the you know utmost performer aspect that he brings to the table yeah Uh, but you know he's just literally having fun with the audience like you said keeping that's why they're so engaged right because they know that he's kind of communicating with them we've said some artists that we've seen before they're great performers but i feel like he's you know really engaged with the audience and making this setting you know this performance but all performances that we've seen he makes the audience feel like they're a part of the yes 100 percent. and it's not just all about him like obviously it is yeah you know when people are watching it they're in a position to watch him right but he doesn't come across that way. No. He, he tries to bring everybody else into it. Yeah. And this is much different than we've heard live because they're doing the acoustic mm-hmm. performance. It's in, you know, it's interesting to see. I'm not surprised, but you know, he's still so so stand out, you know, without all this background music. It's just yeah. the acoustic guitar and him. Is still great. And it's just yeah. that's all you need and it's still so entertaining. And yeah. I, I think you mentioned something about his outfit. Yeah, and yeah. his mic he has said he has his mic stand again. Oh his, okay. His yeah, random yeah. pole with the mic on it and he yeah. just holds it. Yeah. And um his Betty I, Boop. I didn't know shirt. if he was coming out I, is that what it is? I, I thought think, it was I think it's a very some form of variation of Betty Boop. I thought it was Sonic the Hedgehog at oh. first. <laughs> Because I saw like the blue and the yellow and all yeah, that kind of yeah. stuff. Yeah, so. no, I think it's like some form of like a Betty Boop style girl. On and then it. he's got his, his sweats. Yeah, <laughs> just comes out sleeves roll roll the sleeves and a sweatband up. on his uh on his wrist. We roll the sleeves up and come out and like all right, it's time to ball. Yeah, literally <laughs> sweatband. It's like it's time to go, and then he comes in and kills it. But um, very unique performance. Very uh, like you said, just showing their diversity and what they can do with their catalog yeah, as oh well. Yeah. From the hard rock sound yeah. to you know the more pop sound to now this acoustic love song sound. Yeah, definitely I mean, just so talented that they can do like anything really. Yeah, and. Um, Anyway, so let's keep it keep it going. Run it back a little bit. To remind you I still love you. I still love you. to add 
Well, I think I might have been wrong about his shirt. I'm not sure if that's Betty Boop. It has like this little chipmunk thing on the front. So okay. I don't know. Some sort of cartoon not character. Not that yes. <laughs> but overall, I think that he's just incredible. They're, all, they're both incredible. Like, was that, that was just the acoustic guitar and his vocal, right? Like, there was no other band members in that? Yeah, I didn't see anything else. I, I don't think I heard anything else. Yeah. So I think it was just the two of them up there. Yeah. I think it's a, a really nice probably switch up for the audience too, right? Like change in energy in their performance. Mm. Cause there's a lot of high energy and yeah. then slow it down a little bit, give them a little bit of a breather, a little break, engage them a little bit. Yeah, cool. it probably gives them time to set up things on the stage as well as they need to. Maybe some, you know, a break for the other band members as well. Yeah. Um, I think we've read, I've read that before in the comments that they've kind of had to, to implement that in their performances because there's so much energy and so mm. much utilization of different instruments and True. performance aspects that they time. do have to add these in to give the rest of the band or the sound engineers all that to get set up properly. Yeah, so that could have been it. Um, yeah, that makes sense. But I think, like you said, it was just, it's fitting though, because it adds this lull for the audience to get even more engaged and feel more intimate with yeah. the artist. And yeah. obviously, like we said, Freddie does an amazing job at that such a natural like in that he seems like he's like in his element yeah and um it's just crazy seeing all those people there right this is Wembley stadium so it's a pretty big stadium and every, like so many just a sea of people and then you have you know him playing the guitar you know just everybody watching him play the guitar it's just him alone mm. that's it and everybody's still so engaged you don't need all this you know pyrotechnics or you know fireworks or anything like that it's just focus on the music which i really yeah. you know really appreciate and um, i think something too that you know we've said this in some of the older performances that we've seen but it's like this is like pre-cell phone era right mm -hmm. so everybody's so engaged because they're yep. not distracted by trying to take out their phone to take pictures or videos or see if they got messages it's like everybody's just there to have a good time and i feel like you can you can see that like the energy is you can tell from the yeah I, i've seen you know i've mentioned this to, before to you where i've seen pictures of everybody you know a picture of everybody in the audience nowadays where everybody has their phone out there's like, like you know it's a picture of 100 people and like 99 of them all have their phone out recording this moment and it's like you guys all realize you only need one of those cameras to record to the document moment and you can, you can keep that for yourself it doesn't have to come directly from your camera right there's cameras yeah. everywhere now and usually just, they're filming the event anyways yeah like, so just appreciate the moment right and you know, that's something that i vowed when i go to concerts or any events i'm like i'm not going to be recording it i'll maybe yeah. take one or two videos you know of something that i think is cool and then that's it but i want to remember it for the actual memory yeah, and so i you know like you're saying really appreciate seeing that yeah and it's like you know if you're so busy focusing on recording it are you actually even experiencing it? Wouldn't you rather experience exactly. than experience recording it so exactly. that you can go watch the recording later? Like, you yeah. Know, and it's never of... going to feel the same as being no. there and appreciating it. No. Right. And, yeah. um, two thumbs up for me though. Yeah, it was great. And I think, you know, Freddie did a great job in adding the soulfulness to this one. Obviously it's a much, you know, deeper song with the lyrics. I'm not, I shouldn't say a much deeper song, but you know, I feel like he was trying to get into this emotional, like the passion. Uh, yeah. Him. And I think he did a great job in the acoustic presence, adding that soulful feel with his performance and his vocal. vocal but you know as we know so far um he's not let us down on anything but i hadn't heard that song at all before no, so uh, it was new queen for me and me too. it was very well done obviously so yeah, hopefully you guys it. enjoyed our reaction now you want to know the answer to our trivia question which was when were they inducted into the rock and roll hall of fame and the answer is 2001 <laughs> there you go there was no drums in this one, but we got drums from Samantha for Trouble. the answer to that to that trivia question. So I hope you guys enjoyed our reaction. If you did, hit the like button, leave us a comment, hit the subscribe button, notification bell. See us tomorrow. See you at the next one.